Hi, I'm Danny Carroll, Regional Extension Agent with Alabama Extension, and today we're going to talk about sprucing up your landscape with mulch, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Looking around our native Alabama forest, you will find leaf litter dotting the ground around the plants. Mulching our landscapes is just an adaptation of this same process. Some of the benefits of mulching the soil around our plants is that the organic mulches decompose, improving soil health, especially in vegetable gardens. Mulch also buffers the soil temperatures, especially important in Alabama as the summer heat rises. We are also able to mediate soil moisture by reducing evaporation by using a layer of mulch. Mulch around trees and shrubs also reduces the likelihood of damage to our plants by string trimmers and lawnmowers, which also compact the soil. And of course, the most common reason for using mulch in the landscape is a reduction in weed seed germinating. Because mulches do retain moisture, it is a good idea to keep wood mulches at least six to eight inches away from the foundation of houses where ants and other insects may set up house. So we have talked about mulching the soil, but let's talk about a practice commonly called volcano mulching. This is when the mulch is actually applied to the tree trunk. I'm not sure how this practice got started, but mulching the tree trunk does the same as it does the soil. It keeps it moist, and stems and trunks that remain constantly wet are prone to crown rot. These mulches piled against the trunk also hinder oxygen exchange to the roots, which stresses the plant, causing root rot. Mulch piled high against the trunks also creates habitats for rodents that chew the bark as well as insects and diseases that can invade the tree. Instead, apply a three inch layer of mulch a couple of inches away from the trunk that extends out to the plant's canopy. The volcano mulch in this picture was excavated from around this crepe myrtle. As you can see, the roots did not grow out into the surrounding soil, but instead stayed in the mulched area girdling the trunk of the tree. Like anything else, mulch is not maintenance free. As it decomposes, it creates a layer where seeds have a place to germinate. It's a good practice to rake out old mulch every so often and replace it with three inches or so of fresh. In our vegetable garden, this decomposing mulch can be incorporated into the soil. There are other mulch options out there, such as shells, crushed stone, and some of the synthetic rubbers that are often used on playgrounds. If you would like to know more about mulches and sustainable landscapes, please visit our Smart Yards Handbook that can be found online or download our Smart Yards app.